Hi, my name is Patrick Webb, and in part 8 of the Chemistry of Plaster and Heritage Building, we're going to consider the lime cycle. Well, lime, as we had mentioned previously, is a carbonate of calcium. And the first thing that happens in the processing is it gets broken down typically into a uh, size of pebbles, so it'll bake really nice and evenly. And, yes, part of that baking process, we add heat. Quite a bit of heat, 950 degrees Celsius, about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. And what dissipates or, or leaves the limestone is CO2, carbon dioxide. Now, normally, that might be a bad thing. But, fortunately for lime, it is a cycle, so we're going to see how that gets recaptured. Well, what does that leave us with? Calcium oxide, common name for which is quick lime. Quick lime is kind of some nasty stuff. It's, it can be used as a plaster, but it's very reactive. Um, it's also very alkali, so it's not something that you'd want to get on your hands. Definitely not something you want to get on your eyes. So when working with quick lime or preparing quick lime, you want to have full safety equipment. Well, typically the processing continues to arrive in a much safer place. And uh, at this point, what gets added is water. And the resulting material, this reaction takes place between the very, very reactive um, quick lime and water to form calcium hydroxide. Now typically, they put just enough water in the form of steam to what they call quench the quick lime, uh, just to have a complete reaction and not an excess amount of water. So what you get is a dry hydrate or a slate line, you'll hear it called. Well, that right there can be used as a plaster, and often is. Um, it, that dry state sometimes convenient to mix with uh, like gypsum, for instance, or clay, other materials in a dry state, and then add water to everything. Um, but, in many cases, what will happen is uh, more water will be added to the system, an excess of water. And what this produces is a lime putty. And particularly if that lime putty has had opportunity to sit for a period of months or years, you get a material that is like really creamy, really buttery, um, can produce some beautiful closed finishes. We think of Venetian plaster or marmorino. Or for brickwork, it's uh, something that adheres better to the bricks and it can be really nice to work with. I'll go ahead and write the formula again. That would be calcium hydroxide plus H2O for that excess of water. Well, then our cycle completes. Well, two things happen at this point. One is uh, the excess water leaves the system just simply dries out. Um, well, we don't want that process to happen too fast because the process of uh, those calcium carbonate um, crystals to grow, that's a slower process and it needs water to do it. Actually, it needs water to enter and leave the system to do it. So, um, but eventually, if that's done correctly, what you have coming back in it's all that CO2 that you lost from the atmosphere, or at the very least, the most, most of it. What typically happens is um, it begins to kind of close itself off, and there's always some free lime available. It doesn't reabsorb 100% of the CO2 back. That's not a bad thing, at least for its use as a stucco, because uh, essentially it's forming a skin of the building. As long as you don't seal it, that thin skin over time uh, forms micro cracks. Um, what lime has a capability of do, to do is what they call autogenous healing. 
In other words, water will penetrate into that crack, but since there's free lime available, those salt crystals of uh, calcium salt, calcium carbonate, start to knit the uh, surface back together. Now, it's not an invisible process. Um, it's kind of like your skin. So if you were to cut your, your skin, your skin has that ability to re-knit, to re-heal itself. It might leave a bit of a scar, and same is the case with the surface of uh, stucco. A lot of times you'll see um, those lines where it's healed itself. But if you've seen a lot of really old lime uh, stucco finishes, perhaps in Europe, that's not necessarily a bad thing either. A lot of those uh, patina that it takes on over time is, is quite beautiful.